everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to write a Python script to send an email to our Gmail account. We are first going to send a simple email and then we are going to see how we can attach a data frame to our email and send it to our account. So let's get started. The very first step is to import the SMTP lib library. The SMTP lib module defines an SMTP client session object that can be used to send mail to any internet machine with an SMTP. The next step is to initialize a connection to the email server and we are going to use Gmail over here. So we are just going to say SMTP lib.smtp and then we are going to define a server which is going to be smtp.gmail.com com and the port is going to be 587. Now Gmail server would not allow you to just send an email from any app because it makes it less secure. So it will ask you to start a TLS service which is a protocol command used to inform the email server that the email client wants to upgrade from an insecure connection to a secure one using TLS or SSL. So you basically need to just call these commands smtp.ehlo which is going to say an extended hello to the server to the gmail server and you can see we have got some response from the gmail server and the next command that you need to type in is smtp.starttls which is just going to tell the Gmail server that we want to communicate through the TLS encryption. Now the next step is to just provide your username and password. Again, you cannot use the username and password that you use to log into your Gmail account. You have to create an app specific password by going into your Google account. So how do we create that app specific password? I've provided a link below in the description. You can check it out and you can follow those steps to create an app specific password for Python. So first to the SMTP login, we are going to pass our email ID. So I'm going to send a email through learn.nostar at gmail.com. And next I'm going to provide my app specific password. So once I run this command, you will see that the connection has been established. And now to send a simple email, we are just going to say smtp.sendmail. This is going to be your from. So learn.nostar.mail.com. Now this is a very simple email that we are sending just to check that everything is working fine and we're going to send it to the other nostar account which is learn at nostar.org and what's your body of the message what is the text you want to send in your email so you can say hello there and run this and then you just need to make sure you terminate the connection. Now this is the simplest email that we can send. Now let's go to our email account down at nostar.org and just check what kind of email we received. So this is basically how the email looks like. You can see that it's just a message hello there. There is no subject to it and we can see the email address from which it was sent. Now let's format this a little bit. Let's try to send a data frame and let's just format it as an HTML email so that it looks nicer and not so basic. And then now let's try to send the email. So because we are going to make a data frame, I am next going to import the pandas module. So import pandas as PD. And now we're going to define a data frame as well. So let's define two data frames. I've defined the first data frame as df1 and I'm going to define another data frame. So let's say 2, 9, 7, 6. Now I'm just going to concatenate them. So df is equal to pd.concat, pd.dataframe, df1, and pd.dataframe, df2 x is equal to 1. So now I have the data frame ready and now to format this email we need to define some MIME objects. 
So now we are going to say from email.mime.tags import mime text and from email.mime.application import mime application and from email.mime.multipart import mime multipart. And now we are going to start defining our message. So we are going to define the message as mime multipart. We are going to define a subject. So let's say define the subject as daily report and we can define our email ID, the Gmail ID that we use to send the email over here. And now we are going to format our data frame into the HTML format. So after pasting this HTML structure, what we need to use is dot format, define a data frame, dot true underscore HTML, and now we are going to say that our MIME text is in the HTML format. So we are going to define the MIME text as HTML. And then we are going to attach this to our message. And now we had already established our connection to our server. So we are directly going to come to this point, smpp.sendmail. We already have the source email address. We have the destination email address. And now we are just going to replace this message that we just typed in earlier with message as string. And now let's execute our code. So this is how the email looks like that we received. You can see that there is a subject to this and the data frame has been attached as a table. You can always modify this code and we can send files as attachment to the email and so on. But this is the basic framework which you need to use to send emails through Python. I hope the video was useful. If it was, then please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.